the third type of institution will be focusing on undergraduate education with emphasis on very high quality. The education since it is interdisciplinary, since it is having focus objective and expected outcomes with very high quality outcome will create extremely competent human resource. As you know that for industry purpose, example, we need supervisor level engineers, we need uh, process engineers, we need research and development engineer, we need project engineer and we need basically innovations undertaking engineering aspect and hence every, every institution will have the focus objective and the focus outcome and this is called restructuring of, of the whole education system by consolidating and restructuring existing institution and building the new institution and this is possible when we when we talk about our our new education policy which is focusing on creating the dedicated human resource capable of not only harnessing the opportunity but creating the opportunity and this is very important aspect when we talk about multidisciplinary education and research along with liberal arts as a integral part of our education system. This institution will be either um, a university level institution or the, the institutions uh, they are capable or they are authorized for degree uh, awarding institution and hence they are basically autonomy in autonomous institutions in the form of academic or administration as well as financial institution. But how do we execute this, this, this matter? Unless the society as a whole, public as a whole and stakeholders as a whole, they become integral part of our education system in the form of not only contributing uh, in the form of investment, but also is very important to understand that education is the only uh, method or only way to develop the nation develop the society on sustainable manner. As you know that when we talk about creating high quality institution, we have to also understand that it has to be done in equitable manner. Everywhere talent is available, resources are available. It is not that the, the highly research oriented institutions are to be established in metros or so. You know that disadvantaged geographical areas can be also a great asset to establish high quality institution and hence you know that when we talk about creating the institution, this aspect plays extremely important role and hence the new institutional architect will, will have to address, will have to consider all fields including professional fields as well. Hence when we talk about high quality liberal education, we have to understand that we need to remove the partitions of different subjects and uh, we have to create the broad breast liberal education as a foundation for holistic development of all students. As you know that it can be uh, a holistic approach along with rigorous specialization in chosen discipline as well as fields. As you know that the fundamentals are to be taught across the fields and then specialization chosen specialization discipline is required to be created so that the human resource with specific competency they are created and they are available for various uh, jobs as well as industrial requirement. And as you know that all undergraduate the, the integration of school education, undergraduate education, postgraduate education and doctoral level and if not postdoctoral education has to be linked together by creating the base and then transforming this base into the next level and that is possible that undergraduate programs are required to be characterized by liberal education uh, approach and this is through imaginative flexible curriculum structure, creative combination of different disciplines of study, multiple exit and entry point within the integrated programs offering rigorous specialization is the key aspect of this new educational uh, uh, infrastructure. Liberal education as you know that it, it, it gives opportunity of learner 
to enter into different multiple discipline to create not only constitutional values of higher education, but it is important as a life capacities and life capacities is in the form of not only uh, the, the set of skills for professional development, but also social and moral engagement, which is the core ethics of a education system that is required to be, uh, to, be, uh, to be understood. It is very essential that the undergraduate education is having focus objective. The focus objective is possible when we talk about uh, interdisciplinary study and hence the institution of liberal art, which is responsible for multidisciplinary education, research and the, the, the standard is such, a, it should be such a high that it, it becomes source of multidisciplinary knowledge uh, through this liberal art studies to every field. As you know that the, the curriculum has to be cre creative and it should have basically and understandable that when we talk about learning specific areas, the core competent area is first required to be to be taught, the proof of concept is to be given, application of uh, concept e is required for uh, development of the knowledge and also attainment level. And when we, when we talk about creating the undergraduate level education, which is having the combination of high quality education and research based specialization. The undergraduate education is to be completed. There is op option that it can be completed within 3 or 4 years depending upon the various options of admission and exit along with period of study. As well as as you know that we can also define the credit structure and appropriate certification system. And when we talk about whether it is certificate, advanced diploma in the field or when we talk about undergraduate education. As you understand that there is a limit for earning certain amount of credit. And when we talk about four year program, undergraduate program with uh, opportunity to experience the full range of liberal education is definitely is going to be helpful to create bachelor of liberal arts in the chosen field along with studies in the major subject and minor subject. Such type of new structure is creating opportunity for learner and opportunity for teachers to develop themselves new sets of skill to deliver the high quality education. As you know that the, both the programs whether it is minor study or major study can be also converted into award of degree with honors and certain educational system which requires the, the professional components such as teachers education, engineering education, medicine, they are of course of four year undergraduate program, but there is a flexibility at the master level. It can be five year integrated master program or it can be two years after four years master program or it can be the master's program with specific uh, thesis or with or without research. As you know that postgraduate education plays extremely important role which is a link between undergraduate and PhD. The postgraduate education gives more elaborate uh, knowledge of the concept and these students with postgraduate education will have extremely high competency in applying the acquired knowledge at undergraduate level and postgraduate level. Masters program is giving more emphasis on practical work in solving the industrial related problems, developing the research oriented uh, topics and which will offer a very great opportunity for undertaking the path breaking research, which is relevant. As you know that most of the projects conducted at postgraduate level as well as the, the doctoral work uh, done for PhD is required to be transformed into startup industries or spin off companies. So, that the knowledge which is developed for master level as well as PhD level is considered to be con converted into the, the actual product process or technology.